Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of CSU Athletics and the Chicago University University, welcome to the Emil and Patricia Jones Competition Center for today's matchup between the Tennessee Martin Skyhawks and four Chicago State Cougars. Now, if you're able to, please rise and try to remove your hands as we honor America with the flame of the literary voices.
everyone, and welcome to Chicago, Illinois, the Jones Convocation Center, the backdrop for today's NCAA men's basketball matchup, Division I action, as the Chicago State Cougars play host to the Tennessee Martins Skyhawks. Here with my partner, Aaron Schellen, I'm Chris Rouse, and Aaron, we've learned that you've got to be able to play the full 48 and even longer if you want to win for these two teams. Yeah, the phrase of the day today, Chris, is free basketball. Last time out for Chicago State was an 84 83 overtime win over Morgan State down in Cancun of all places for the visiting UT Martin Skyhawks. It was a 105 103 double overtime victory over North Alabama. And just to complete the trifecta, Chris, the last time these two teams faced each other about a year ago down in Tennessee, 75 74 overtime victory for UT Martin. That was back on December 11th, a year ago. Chicago State looking for revenge, Aaron, but at a place that hasn't been the so friendly confines of the home court for the Cougars as they return home. Yeah, still looking for their first home victory of the season. Hopefully the the, the nice weather and, and the, the warm <laughs> sands and the, the sunny beaches of Cancun will give them that energy they need here on a chilly Chicago afternoon. Certainly a chilly Chicago afternoon, but down on the floor, things are about to heat up as the Cougars and Skyhawks get ready to tip it off. As we mentioned, Chicago State winless at home thus far, 2-5 and five on the season, and here are the starting lineups for this for this afternoon's affair. First for the visiting Tennessee Martin Skyhawks. Via, via their numerical order, we will go with number one, Kobe Jeffries. Number two, Issa Muhammad. Number three, Jordan Sears. They have number 35, Jacob Cruz, and number zero, K.K. Curry. Who are you looking for, Aaron? in that UT Martin starting, starting later. Well, I think it's, it starts and ends with number three, Jordan Sears. He's the OVC leading scorer right now, averaging over 21 a game. And it's going to take multiple Chicago State Cougars to keep that number down. A couple of big names, though. A couple of big men in Jacob Cruz and Issa Muhammad down low that the Cougars are going to have to contend with here all afternoon as well. Muhammad will jump against Jashan Corbett, and here are the rest of the starters for the Cougars. It'll be Cardet number one, Jashan Jean Charles number two, K. Green number five, number 12 is Brent Davis, number 24, Jashan Corbett. And there you see Jean Charles set to trigger the inbound after the ball was knocked away to start us off here in Chicago. And I'm really looking for number five, Ked Green, to, to do to try to do a job here on Jordan Sears. Ked is, is the Cougars' best defensive player, and they're going to need him today. Early show of zone defense here from Tennessee Martin on the opening defensive possession. Sean Corbett in the corner. Cross-court pass a little too high, but it's deflected away by K.K. Curry. We'll stay here. Yeah, tough pass against the zone. That cross-court, corner-to-corner pass. Tipped out of bounds. It'll stay Cougars basketball. K.K. Curry wearing number zero in a fifth-year senior. Third year here at Tennessee Martin after two at South Alabama. Here's Ked Green, a junior for Chicago State. Happy to see Ked healthy this year. He's been struggling with illness and injuries his first two years. Misses his first shot of the day. Great rebound by Cardet. Strong board. He goes back up again and now draws a foul. Attacking the offensive glass, Wesley Cardet Jr. 15 points, six rebounds, four assists against Morgan State. Offense will flow through number one in gray and green. Potential NBA prospect is Wesley Cardet Jr. He went through the draft process a year ago. He's got a number of scouts watching him. Here's the effort on the glass. And again, a couple of big bodies down low. Issa Muhammad, 6'9", 245 pounds. Jacob Cruz, a little bit leaner, but still 6'10", 210. And he got Wesley Cardet at 6'6", grabbing a couple of offensive boards against those twin towers, if you will, down low in orange. The dynamic Wesley Cardet Jr., the ability to ball handle, the ability to post up and drive. Also a solid shooter. He hits the free throws, makes it 2-0 Cougars to start us out. First offensive possession for Tennessee Martin. That was a full 40 seconds on defense. Sears. They're struggling with the press in the backcourt. It's taken away by Gene Charles. Clear path home as he takes body contact. Lays it in for two. That started with Ked Green and those quick hands. Chris tipped the ball away. And Gene Charles was able to pick up the loose change and lay it up and in. So Tennessee Martin finally into the front court here on their second rip. As now Sears coming off of a huge game guarded by Brent Davis. Sears takes the drive, goes at Corbett this time, and the foul as Corbett caught him with the body. You see what Sears can do right there. Off the dribble, beat Brent Davis from the top of the key, got into the paint, used that left used that left arm to shield off Cardet a little bit, but was able to get it high up off the glass, counted, and he's going to the line for a three-point play. Early substitution now for Chicago State as Noble Crawford will come into the game number 15. He had a huge game for Chicago State against Morgan State. 
in their win on Wednesday. 12 points, five rebounds for the junior from Deltona, Florida. <laughs> A lot of Florida flavor on this Chicago State men's team. Got to credit Gerald Gillian with that. Of course, his brother Kenny, a high school coach down in Orlando as well. Created a, quite the pipeline from Florida to Chicago. Chicago State on offense here with Green, who's out of Bethonia, Georgia. Of course, the one guy not from Florida has the ball here. Right. <laughs> Here's Corbett. Corbett, nice jumper. That's usually his shot, but he left that one long. Rebounded by Cruz. And you want him taking that shot all day. That open 15-foot baseline jumper, that is Deshaun's game. K.K. Curry, a bit of a hesitation left-right crossover. And once he got past Gene Charles, a foul in the reach. Number's not overly impressive for K.K. Curry on the year, nine and a half and five. But he is an OV, he was an OVC, all preseason first team player. And you see there that little hesitation move inside, outside and then back in with the right hand and gets himself to the charity stripe. Curry so far this season, a 79% free throw shooter. That is his 20th made free throw this season out of 25. So we'll try to go 21 for 26 on this next shot. A.J. Neal in for Deshaun Jean Charles. Early subs for that man right there, Gerald Gillian. Yeah, a couple of early substitutions for, Ger for Gerald. A pair of third-year head coaches battling here. Gerald Gillian, his third year at Chicago State. Ryan Ritter, his third year at Tennessee Martin. And his team takes a one-point edge, 5-4. 18.05 to go in the first quarter. First half, I should say, A.J. Neal. Neal. Chicago State patient offense around the perimeter here in the early going. Ked Green kicks it out. That's a wide open look for Neal. Great shield by Green, but Neal left alone. Again, good offensive possession for the Cougars, though. That drive and kick, wide open corner three, you'll take that. Issa Muhammad, the New Mexico State transfer. A jab set at Corbett, now he passes over. Left corner three, in and out. Nice rebound by Cruz. He had a man bridging his back in Neal and still came away with the ball. Here comes Corbett, into the front court. Three from Crawford, long. Everything long for Chicago State so far, Aaron. Yeah, maybe a little you know, post Cancun hangover here, coming back to cold Chicago. Cruz for three. That's off the rim, but right to a teammate. Long rebound for the Skyhawks. Sears. Over to Curry. Curry drives into Green. An offensive and an foul. offensive foul. Good call, Aaron, as Ked Green steps up and takes the charge. Yeah, Ked now a couple of instances here forcing uh, UT Martin turnovers earlier in the game, using the quick hands. And here, holding his ground as the much bigger KK Curry runs through him with that shoulder. So, two forced turnovers by the man I mentioned in the pregame, Ked Green. There was Noble Crawford defending as well. I thought he did a good job of sort of olaying Curry, just let him go right into Green, negating a possible backside reach in. And here is Crawford in the green. Chicago State on offense. It's third turnover for UT Martin here in the early going, and that's huge. None for Chicago State. If the Cougars can win that battle, get more offensive possessions, puts them in a good, good position here. Wesley Cardet coming to the ball, guarded by Jeffries. Battle of the ones up top. Now battle of the twos. Gene Charles guarded by Muhammad. Turnaround jumper is partially blocked and recovered by Muhammad. Charles, that was a difficult turnaround fadeaway baseline jumper, and Muhammad got a piece of it. Three from Sears is in. Cash it in for Jordan Sears. High arcing three-pointer. Touches nothing but the bottom of the net, and Ger Ger Gerald Gillian wants to talk about it. Tennessee Martin with a four-point advantage. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Chicago State men's basketball on YouTube. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. One love. <laughs> 
set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free. Back here at the JCC, the Jones Convocation Center in Chicago. He's Aaron Shellen. I'm Chris Rouse. Aaron, Chicago State off to a one for six start from the field. Here gets Tennessee Martin. Yeah, Cougars scored the first four points of the game. UT Martin the last eight. Cougars have missed their last four shots. have gone almost three minutes without a bucket here. They've had some good looks, though, so I wouldn't change too much offensively. Open corner three, open 15-foot baseline jumper for Deshaun Corbett. Those shots are just not falling yet, but if you're Gerald, Gerald Gillian and you're getting those shots all afternoon long, I think you feel pretty good about the way the offense is flowing here so far. Also for Tennessee, Martin Jordan Sears, the team's leading scorer at 21 and a half a game, has six of the eight early on. And Chicago State still trying to find their rhythm here in these first four minutes of game. Actually, not even a full four minutes yet. 16-19 to go in the first half as action resumes with Ked Green pushing into the front court. 1-3-1 one, one zone for Tennessee Martin defensively. Couple of different looks by UT Martin here in the early going defensively. Started off with that 2-3 zone. And there's Ked Green with a left angle three. Makes it 8-7. You're right, Aaron. We saw a 3-2, 2-3-1-3-1. Green buries it three for the Cougars. Sears into the front court. He's the leading scorer in the game right now with six. Cruz. Kicks it back up top. Here's Kobe Jeffries. Swing to the right corner. Jeffries was looking for Muhammad. It looks like he wanted to give it to him on the block. Sebastian Mendoza cutting back door now gets the ball. Mendoza came in on the last stoppage. Muhammad beats the horn, but it's short off the rim. Rebounded by Green. Good help defense by the Cougars getting back on Muhammad. That would have been an easy bucket. Ked Green walks into a three. Doesn't get the result he wanted. Cardet gets the board. Going up strong. Contact and the foul for Wesley Cardet Jr. That's the third offensive rebound for Cardet already here in the first five minutes, Chris. And now he's going to get himself to the line for an and one. And great, again. Yeah, great effort by Cardet. Crashing the glass. Strong take. Regather. Goes right into the body. And that's what you have to do against a team that has the size advantages. It's it, Rebounding becomes a team effort, right? That ball was tipped. Cardet was able to pull down the rebound and then go up and rattle home the end one. Completing the three-point play is Wesley Cardet Jr. Now Chicago State able to extend their defense. 10-8, 15-11 in the first half. Sears ripped away by Crawford to the backcourt. It's a three-on-three. Three. They find Cardet to the rim. Hoop, unable to fall, but he is fouled by Jeffries. And, and I like this backcourt pressure. Trying to get the ball out of the hands of Jordan Sears, and that's twice now that they've turned him over in the backcourt. Once led to a bucket, this one leading to a couple of free throws. Ryan Ritter, the third-year head coach for Tennessee Martin, having a word with the official. He thought maybe there was a reach-in on Noble Crawford. Cardet to the stripe. And he misses the first. Looked pretty clean from here. Both times he's had his pocket picked in the early going. Looked pretty clear. Looked pretty clean that time by Crawford, the first time by Green. At the bottom of your screen, Desmond Williams, number 11, the senior out of Montgomery, Alabama, in for the first time. Cardet, second free throw. An empty trip for Chicago State. Run down by Sears. If you're Ryan Ritter, you're saying, ball don't lie right here. <laughs> got to be saying that if you're Ritter. Once again, third-year coach just got extended through 2028 as the head coach of Tennessee Martin. He's done nothing but improve since he's become a coach, with the exception of one bad year two years ago. Here's Mendoza. Swings it over to Williams, top of the key. Cruz, top of the key, three. In, and the foul as Cardet got into his landing space. Got in a little too tight on the 6'10", 210-pound junior from Hilliard, Florida, Jacob Cruz. At stretch five, no hesitation, top of the key. And, yeah, Cardet got into that landing space. That's a clean and one. And that lead leg just right underneath you. You have to let the shooter, you have to allow him a space to land. Cruz buries the three. And now he'll go to the line and try to complete a four-point play for the visiting Tennessee Martin Skyhawks. So it was an 8-0 run for UT Martin, followed up by a 6-0 run for Chicago State. And all that leads to a one-point UT Martin lead. 
Cruz missing the free throw. Cam Jernigan in for Chicago State. Also, Fussell, who's guarding him at the top of the key, now in as well, number 15 for Tennessee Martin. Ball around the perimeter for the Cougars. It's Ked Green. Step back over Sears. Rebounded by the aforementioned Christian Fussell, junior out of Decatur, Georgia. That's a tough shot by Ked. Behind the back, stepped into the jumper, but good defense by Sears. Cruz kicks it over to Mendoza. Tennessee Martin having a hard time making the catches on some offense. of these passes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I have to take a look at that. It looked like... That's, that's a really tough foul against A.J. Neal. Yeah, Mendoza, like, you see it here. Mendoza just outright turns full strength. That's an offensive foul. <laughs> to AJ that's absolutely Neal. an offensive foul. He lowered that right shoulder into the chest of A.J. Neal and knocked him down. <laughs> you see A.J.'s reaction. Bought on Bought line. On get the steal. <laughs> Ked Green. Guarded by Mendoza. Not often do you see a guy get elbowed and he's the guy who committed the foul. Yeah. Jernigan. Swings it out to Ked Green. Chicago State patient with Ked Green in the game. You like to see that. Davis for three. Couldn't get the iron to be kind there. Ball loose on the floor. Jernigan scrapping forward. It'll go to Tennessee Martin. Yeah, Jernigan down on the floor. That foot touched the out-of-bounds line. But again, nice driving kick from Ked Green. He's doing a good job creating offense for his teammates, getting the ball into the paint. That was an open three. Just, again, not able to sink it. So the Cougars have had some good looks here in the first half. Just having some trouble knocking them down. Ryan Ritter, career record of 79-83. and 83, Six seasons as an NCAA head coach. Three at Bethune-Cookman, where he was 48-45. and 45. Third season here, where he's 31 and 38, and almost another turnover in the backcourt. Yeah, again, they are pressuring Sears in the backcourt every time they get the opportunity, trying to get the ball out of his hands, and it's now they've had two steals, and then that one almost stolen away as well. So, so far, so good, this pressure defense by the Cougars. This is a Tennessee Martin team a year ago, third place in the OVC, lost to the two-seed Tennessee Tech. And now that ball will stay with Tennessee Martin. A lot of helter-skelter passing here in the early going. The Skyhawks having a difficult time just inbounding the ball here against this pressure from Chicago State. Chicago State has owned this game at the timeline here in the early going, but on the scoreboard, Tennessee Martin up 11-10. Cruz loses the ball. Davis comes up with it, and it's a kick. Will favor Chicago State as it was played off of Fussell's foot. I like what I'm seeing from the Cougars offensively and defensively here so far, Chris. They're they're getting their hands in passing lanes. They're turning uh, turning UT uh, Mar UT Martin over in the backcourt. 11-10, our score, Skyhawks by one. Here's Cardet. Top of the key three. He lets it fly. It flies off the rim. Rebounded by the Skyhawks. Williams back the other way for Tennessee Martin, and in a hurry. One of the first times we've really been able to see the Skyhawks get into a set, Ooh. and Sears hits the three. Yeah, you got to guard him at about 30 feet. No hesitation that time from Sears. In the gym range, it's 14-10 for the Skyhawks. He's got nine to Sears. A.J. Neal, work it up top. Cam Jernigan just waiting on the ball here. Now he takes the drive at Fussell. That's an awkward shot, but he got the bait. Yeah, use the left hand, use the glass nicely. Stops the 6 0 run. It was a long, slow Euro step by Jernigan, but when he threw it off the glass, the kiss worked out for him. Cougars within two. Well, and he had the space, Chris. There was no help defense on that side of the court, so he was able to take his time and, and step to the left. Sears buries another three over A.J. Neal. Jordan Sears feeling it early on here. He's got 12 of the 17, and he's four for four from the field, three of three from behind the arc. Going to have to start guarding him at the timeline. Career high, 34 points on Wednesday in 39 minutes play. Here is Jernigan. Nice catch, nice turn, but he couldn't get the result. Tennessee Martin up five with 11.46 to go in the half. And a foul. Yeah, they're going to get A.J. with the reach in that time. Second foul against A.J. Neal. 17-12 Tennessee Martin with 11.46 to go in the first half. We'll take a quick break. We'll return to Chicago here on YouTube Live after this. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. 
Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. It's game day in Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> Back here at the Jones Convocation Center in Chicago, where the Chicago State Cougars currently trail the Tennessee Martin Skyhawks 17-12. Here with Aaron Shedlin, I'm Chris Rouse, and Aaron, Chicago State, they're struggling with Jordan Sears. Jordan Sears, 12 points, 4-4 from the field, 3 of 3 from behind the arc. Tennessee Martin only has eight shots put up in the first nine minutes of this game, Chris. They've turned the ball over six times, yet they lead by five because of Sears and 29% shooting on the part of the Cougars, only four for 14 out of the gate here. But as I've said a couple of times, Chicago State's had some good looks. Got to think those shots are going to start to fall here at some point. If you can keep winning the turnover battle, six turnovers for UT Martin, none for the Cougars here through the first half of the first half. Got to feel pretty good about your chances. You see Gerald Gillian looking on, hoping that it'll get a different result as things move, on, move along in this ball game. Sears with a game high 12. Cardet leads the Cougars with five. Action resuming with 11.45 to go as Easton Muhammad lost the ball out of bounds. Mendoza tried to save it, but to no avail. Yeah, that's now seven turnovers for UT Martin. They have eight shot attempts and seven turnovers in the first half, but because of Jordan Sears, they're looking at a lead. 2-3 zone now defensively for Tennessee Martin as they break out with the Cougars coming across the timeline. Cardet. This is Noble Crawford, guarded at the top of the key. Now he hands it off to Cardet. Brent Davis took one shot early on and came out immediately after. Now back in the game. Crawford on the drive. Nice move to get low. Got the inside position in the bank off the glass. Nice use of his body there on Jalen Myers. Just had him on his back and was able to put, about, put it up off the glass for a pair. Cougars within three. 11.08 to go in the half. Sears. Step back over Davis. Three on the way. Wow. Cash it in. Jordan's just played good in Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had Brent Davis on ice skates that time. And a little between the legs, step back three. He has 15 points in nine minutes. I watch these. I tend to watch these games. Brent Davis is one of Chicago State's better defenders as Cardet scores on the other end. You don't usually see Brent on skates like that defensively. No. <laughs> no. He's guarding the ball here which with the... Skyhawks up top. Mendoza gets it around the wing from Williams. Williams and Muhammad. Muhammad's been trying to get that two-man game going. And now a block by Gene Charles. Cougars try to push it out. A why not three for Sears. Maybe that's why not. His first miss of the game. <laughs> Here's Ked Green over to Brent Davis. Davis to the basket. And a blocking foul. Williams tried to take the charge. Official does not buy it, and Davis scores. Yeah, Desmond Williams absolutely tried to buy that call. There was not much contact <laughs> there at all, but Brent Davis threw the contact, a little floater from eight. Opportunity to get the Cougars within a point here. And here here's something that could be a turning point in the ball game. Jordan Sears is out for the first time, and there you see Justice Jackson just walked out a shot behind Brent Davis, is in for the first time. As Brent, the... The Citadel transfer steps to the line. He was the hero a year ago against that same school for Chicago State. UT, UT Martin players not named Jordan Sears. One for five shooting here today. So you have to assume this will probably be a relatively quick break for Sears. He has 15 of UT Martin's 20. Tristan Arno, number 13, who you just saw came in. He's guarding the ball now as Justice Jackson approaches and now crosses the timeline at 10.05 in the head. It's a good time to get Tristan some playing time without Sears in the game. Try to get him some run and see what he can do. Halfway through the first half, this game just as even as it was a year ago when Tennessee Martin won in overtime by one. It was Jackson. Williams three. Long. Noble Crawford flying in for the board. Cougars into the front court. Arnaud on the runner. No good. That'll go out of bounds. Stay here. Yep. Gotta stay here. Great job by our cameraman Stacy Adams staying in there. He's got Myers and Gene Charles in the shot. Good job by Gene Charles avoiding the last contact. That was off of Jalen Myers. Cor Corbett back in now for Crawford. 
Yeah, Chicago State going with a more inside approach here. But here's a guy that also can let it fly if needed. Cardet, the elbow jumper, in and out. Muhammad on the board, Justice Jackson to push. Evenly played start to this matchup. Jackson off the glass. Muhammad over the back. Over the back. Finally, yeah. they call it. Now, now we got one official here saying Ked Green with the bridge. One saying Muhammad on the block. Ked on the bridge will pick up the foul. Let's take a look. And right there, the hand yeah. around the thigh. He's actually yeah. grabbing the compression shorts. That right hand. And now to draw the foul on Ked Green. Great shot by our crew, our crew, championship crew as always, <laughs> giving us the shots that we need. And, it, and, if you're east, and if you're Issa Muhammad, you can go up over the person in front of you as long as you're going straight up. Ooh, bad defense by the Cougars on that out of bounds play. In three seasons of doing Chicago State games, that's been one of the consistent issues, the falling asleep on inbound plays. Easy layup for Tennessee Martin. 22-19, Corbett up top, Cougars down three with nine even to go in the first half. Deshaun's been pretty quiet here this afternoon so far. Cardet for three, cash it in and tie it up. That's now 10 for Cardet. We are tied at 22 here, 8.48 to go in the half. And a steal almost for Cam Jernigan. Tennessee Martin unable to make Chicago State pay as Muhammad runs down another rebound. Issa Muhammad now with three boards in the ball game. Williams swing it around. Mendoza blocked by the closing card. Day. Shot clock is at four. Cross court to Williams with three on the way. Ooh. Cash it in for three. Three on the clock, three on the board. And yeah, beating that shot clock. Good last second passing by UT Martin to find the open shooter in the far corner. Three on the clock, three on the board. Three is the difference on the score right now, 25-22. Cam Jernigan for three, unable to tie it back up. Mendoza, guarded by Cardet. Cardet has done a great job closing out on Mendoza's shooting. Muhammad, check the line first. That usually means miss as he, he leaves it long. You got to keep your eye on the rim, not where your feet are. Here's Cardet. Kicks it out to Corbett in a whistle. 7.44 remaining in the first half. Chicago State and Tennessee Martin playing a tight one, but the Skyhawks with a three-point lead will return to Chicago after this break here on YouTube Live. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> At the Chicago State University College of Pharmacy, discoveries happen daily and students become industry leaders. If you are looking for a rewarding profession combining patient care, scientific research, and opportunities to give back to your community, CSU is an exceptional place to prepare with 3,000 square feet of state-of-the-art lab and research facilities and renowned faculty. No bachelor's degree is required. Learn more about CSU's College of Pharmacy by visiting csu.edu slash college of pharmacy. Evenly played first half here in Chicago between the Chicago State Cougars and the Tennessee Martin Skyhawks. Chris Rouse here with Aaron Shellen. Aaron, Wesley Cardet starting to heat up. He's got 10 for Chicago State. Yeah, 3 of 5 from the floor. He's got a couple of rebounds. Chicago State only 8 of 21 shooting here in the first half. What's kept them in it? UT Martin, 7 turnovers to 1 for Chicago State. So the Cougars staying in the game, forcing those turnovers. And as we look at the Tennessee Martin sideline, we know Jordan Sear, their leading scorer, he has 15 15 points with these last four minutes of game action their offense has struggled trying to find it with him on the sideline yeah and a last second three as the shot clock expired but that was scramble offense right that wasn't a set that was that was scramble time and they were able to hit the three but um yeah with without sears out there without that guy who can kind of bail you out a little bit of stagnation offensively yet they're still up three here with just under eight left to go in the first half there you see the chicago state bench led by gerald gillian in his third season but 
They had the new addition earlier at the in, earlier in the year, Scott Spinelli, the assistant coach. You can see sort of right there in the middle next to Cam Jernigan. He's been a solid shooting coach. We saw him working with the Chicago State three-point shooters prior to the game. Yeah, he was standing on that on the near wing. He had his players coming out of the corner and taking those those wing three-pointers and barking out instructions, telling them where to put their feet and where to catch the ball and sort of a recruiting guru, former head coach at Boston College and had some other stops as well. So great addition to this Chicago State coaching staff. Once again, this is a program still on the rise as Cardet travels, but a program still on the rise here for Coach Gerald Gillian in his third season. Improvements the first two years, but this one a bit of a bumpier path with some of the off-court issues and also some on-floor issues. Yeah, I mean, having Wesley Cardet, always having that, that at least that one player out there who can create for you and can give you that offense. Obviously, this team was expected to be a little bit deeper uh, when the season started, but some, as you mentioned, off-the-court stuff has led that to not be the case. And now they're, once again, still adjusting here as Muhammad has it. Sears back in, quick three off the rim, run down by Gene Charles. Oof. Yeah, he almost stepped out of bounds. Is <laughs> the hell Cardet? Almost stepped out of bounds, almost traveled. And now Cardet sets it up for the Cougars. Brent Davis. Corbett, wide open three. Wide left out of the hand. We're left from where we sit as it's out of bounds. Yeah, just shot off to a rough start. No points. He has a rebound and an assist, but Corbett 18 and 8 against Morgan State last time out. He's averaging almost 14 and a half points and eight rebounds a game. So a bit of a slow start for Deshaun. Remember, Corbett was the leading rebounder in college basketball in the state of Illinois a year ago, averaging eight rebounds. Now here is Tennessee Martin in the front court at a whistle. Five on five as Green picks up the whistle. Five on five physical activity there as Keds called for the foul. Green ends up fouling. Jalen Myers, the 6'8", 200-pound junior out of Huntsville, Alabama. Myers, a step to the stripe here. Jalen Myers, this is one thing he does really, really well. Last season, junior college, top five in the nation at the free throw line, 90% on the season. So the lefty, very confident, very comfortable, and consistent at that foul line. You see Ryan Ruder, his team, 8-22 in 2022. 19 and 14 last year. Finished third in the conference. He had a great quote in their overtime win against North Alabama. He said, who's tougher longer? His team was the tougher team in that one winning in double overtime. Yeah, one overtime is one thing. When you, when you start getting into those double and triple overtime games, fatigue starts to set in, and it really just becomes a, a matter of, of who's tougher, who can, who can withstand more. Remember, this is a Tennessee Martin team that beat Chicago State in overtime a year ago. As Corbett drives, he misses, rebounded by Myers. I remember even after the win a year ago, Ritter even said, that Chicago State team, they will surprise some people. That's a good D1 school, even though they're on the rise. As Sears banks it off the glass. Yeah, use the right hand up and under on the left side of the glass. He has 17 points in the first half. What a performance from Sears, just about battling Chicago State by himself here. 22-17, but there you see the big score. 29-22 Tennessee Martin. Gene Charles for three. Rattle it home. Yeah, that was a wide open three. They were giving it to him. And if you're if you're uh, Gene Charles, you're wi that wide open. You got to take that shot. The energy Deshaun Gene Charles plays with this season has been much improved and needed. <laughs> Muhammad picks up an offensive foul. Yeah, I think Ked drew that one a little bit using his smaller stature <laughs> to make that look a lot worse than it was. But that's what Ked does. He's a pest out there defensively, and he's done it with his hands. He's used his body to draw some calls. That's the third turnover forced by Ked Green here this afternoon. East Muhammad goes 6'9". Ked Green goes 6 feet, so which means Ked's are right at about Muhammad's elbow. So he lifted it, and he lifted it right in the Ked's face for the offensive foul. And you see A.J. Neal back in. Neal was a highly touted pickup for Chicago State a year ago before the ACL injury. Happy to see him on the court this year. Sophomore out of Orlando. Again, more of that Florida pipeline. Gene Charles, three on the way. Off the rim. Nice grab by Sears. He took it away from two players. What can't three and orange do? So far today, not much. 17 points, a couple of rebounds. Now Jackson, waiting on the high screen from Fussell. 
Seemed like Tennessee Martin crowded their own space there. Curry on the drive. Oh, man, he dunked it off the rim. Did everything but finish it. Rebounded by Chicago State. Yeah, the baseline just opened up for him, and Curry took it to the rack and just, just no help defense and Ooh. just threw that ball off the back of the rim. And then to make matters worse, reach in foul on UT Martin. He'll send Chicago State to the line here. Home court advantage for Chicago State. Iron unkind for KK Curry. So now Noble Crawford to go to the stripe. 29-25 our score with 5-12 to go in the first half. But you see Noble Crawford, he's another one of those players that I like as a role player starting to get into a rhythm here with Chicago State. Yeah, you mentioned his last time out. His best game of the year probably against Morgan State. 12 points, 5 rebounds in that overtime victory, averaging just under 5 points and a little over 2 rebounds a game so far his first year with Cougars. Junior out of Dill, Tona, Florida is Noble Crawford. Ball in the air. And he left it off the front of the rim. Chicago State keeps getting close. Get within three. They tied it once. But take it. Here's Jackson. 5-0-2 and counting on the clock. Jackson thought he wanted to shoot it. Then he passed it and turned it over as a result. Davis. Out to Crawford. And up top reset. Davis walks into a three to tie the game. Couldn't do it. Rebounded by Tennessee Martin. Myers a little bit late trying to find Fussell, and Crawford showing off that athleticism to knock it away. And Cougars have been showing really, really good hands here in the first half, Chris. Getting in those passing lanes, using those quick hands to tip balls away. That's probably the fourth or fifth time we've seen them just use their hands to knock the ball out of bounds and tip it away. So, And keep uh, UT Martin from, from pushing it down the court. Kid Green back in for Wesley Cardet Jr. And this likely will be the only break you'll see Wesley get. He's played 13 minutes thus far. Sears. Knocked away by Davis and stolen. Gene Charles to Ked Green. Clear path home. Easy lay in for two. Again, those quick hands. And again, Chris, almost knocking the ball away. Cougars, it's like every player out there has got a third a third hand out there getting in the passing lane. And Tennessee Martin immediately going to get some size and speed out there with Curry and Cruz set to check in. Here's Jeffries. He's been quiet here in the early going. Guarded by A.J. Neal. Perfect spot for the floater, but he left it off the rim. Rebounded by Crawford. Here's Ked Green in the front court. Cougars down one. Brent Davis got hit in the face, but able to recover. Coach Gerald Gillian <laughs> calling out the play from across the floor here. Yeah, slow it down. <laughs> slow it down. It's Gene Charles thinking about it, thinking about it. Finally lets it fly. That's usually what happens when we think too much. Rebounded yep. by Jackson. A 10 of 28 shooting here in the first half for Chicago State. Oh, what a block by Crawford. Get out of here, Justice Jackson. Ked Green to the rim. No foul. Didn't need it anyway. Cougars by one. Ked Green taking it to the rack. Nice pump fake into the corner to A.J. Neal and was able to lay it up and in, and the Cougars take the lead. Car Crawford sends one back. Green sends the Cougars up. One-point lead for Chicago State. We'll take a break. We'll return to the JCC on YouTube Live. Pon en marcha tu futuro en la Universidad Estatal de Chicago con más de 70 programas de grado y certificaciones, numerosas oportunidades de becas y una vida universitaria vibrante. La Universidad Estatal de Chicago es la universidad pública más asequible de la ciudad con un cuerpo docente diverso y grupos pequeños de alumnos. En la Universidad Estatal de Chicago te brindamos las herramientas que necesitas para triunfar. Visita csu.edu diagonal admissions para saber cómo puedes conseguir gratis la matrícula de tu primer año. It's game day in Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> 
Wyatt Green with seven points for the Chicago State Cougars. Here are the two latest points he got, but Noble Crawford, he was all over that play, Aaron Shelley. Yeah, he got that play started with the block, and then you saw Ked directing traffic on the fast break, directing A.J. Neal into the corner, that little, that little jab fake to the corner, drew the defender to the outside. That allowed Ked, who's really played a fantastic first half here, Chris, to lay it up and in. Ked Green, seven points, two rebounds, assists, a couple of steals. He's forced four UT Martin turnovers in the first half. I know he was your player to watch, and I think it really speaks to the resilience of this kid. He had to miss a few games early on as a freshman because of a hip injury. He's been out with COVID, non-COVID illnesses. He's been behind other guards in the lineup. What does that say to the resiliency of Ked Green still here at Chicago State, still plugging away? Well, it shows you what, what kind of work ethic he has. He wants to see it through to the end, right? A lot of players could say, you know what, it just isn't worth it. I'm, I'm always hurt. There's always something going on. I'm always behind somebody on the depth chart, whatever the case may be. But Ked Green kept battling, and he's really helped this team, especially here today, to this one-point lead with three minutes left. Here in the middle of the 2-1-2 zone is Green. You see him at the free throw line defensively. Ked Green on social media known as No Limit Kid. That's certainly how he plays, with no limits. Here's a drive now for Tennessee Martin. Corbett got a piece of it and a foul as K.K. Curry goes down. Curry got into the paint and drew a couple of gray jerseys. I'm not sure who that's going to go on. It's either going to be on Crawford or Corbett, but it's going to be on Corbett. It's going to be his second. And again, just another, again, tough first half for Deshaun here. 0 of 3 from the floor. He's got a couple of fouls, only one rebound. So look for him to bounce back in the second half, Chris. And, and if you can go to halftime with the lead with one of your best players being held scoreless, you got to feel pretty good about things. And now there's a look at Coach Ritter for Tennessee Martin. KK Curry now with three points in the game, all at the stripe. And as a result, Cam Jernigan coming in for Corbett. Just a, just a rough half for Corbett. Yeah, let him go to the bench, sit for a couple of minutes, and he might be back out there before the half ends. But if not, I mean, you're down by a point and haven't gotten anything out of Deshaun yet. So Something to look forward to in the locker room. Plenty to be optimistic about is now Ked Green pushes towards the timeline. Just under three minutes, 255 to be exact here in the first half. Ted Green out near the CSU side, standing on the Cougar. Ian Davis playing hot potato here. Ked's going to let it fly. He knocks it down. Ked Green for three. And wide open, top of the key three. And again, quick hands by the Cougars. Brent Davis almost with another steal. Ten turnovers for UT Martin in the first half. Only two for Chicago State. Cougars doing a fantastic job taking care of the basketball. Only 31% shooting. So you keep taking care of the basketball. You get that shot percentage up to that 40 to 45 inch. Things are looking pretty good. Deshaun Jean Charles back in for Cam Jernigan. He's at the back of the zone for Chicago State, number two. Tennessee Martin with 2.30 exactly on the clock into the front court. Jeffries, the first runway he's had, but he couldn't take advantage of it. He used his body to clear space, but still missed the layup. The, the athleticism of these Tennessee Martin guards, if you give them a runway, they will score, or they'll drop the jump shots in, as we've seen uh, out of Sears here. Here's Crawford. Crawford, sort of indecisive before he let it fly, rebounded there by Jeffries. Sears pushing in a hurry. No wasted motion from him, and he draws a foul. And no wasted motion at all. Hard to the rack. Got himself down on the block, and a little too strong on that shot as he took it into Cardet. Left hand too much, but gets to the free throw line here for a couple. He's looking for points 18 and 19 in the first half. We saw Ked Green tried to take the charge there. Clearly still moving as now Sears will come to the stripe. Exactly two minutes on the clock, 33-31. Our score coming up at halftime. We will go over the first half highlights and preview the second half. Also an update on the Chicago State women's basketball team who will be in action tomorrow against Evansville. Hey, UT Martin, no, no baskets here in their last four and a half minutes. So Chicago State defense clamping down a bit here as we come to the close in half number one. Sears at the strike. And he makes the free throw, 33-32. Cougars by one as Green pushes up to Cardet. Cardet over to Gene Charles. Crawford more decisive this time as he drives in and scores. A little English on that right-handed spin up off the glass for a couple. And you're right, took that right to the rack in between three orange jerseys, able to lay it in. Cougars by three as a result. 
Cruz thought about the three, goes inside, hooping harm, three the hard way. Three the hard way, and if you're Noble Crawford, no reason to come in and commit that foul. You're not going to block that shot, and you're just sending Cruz to the line for a chance at an and one, and Cardet will go to the bench here with 90 seconds left. Yeah, I, we both were waiting. I thought he was coming in for Crawford so as well that's here. That's exactly, exactly what I thought was happening, is Crawford was going to come out and have that same discussion with uh, with Gerald Gillian that you and I just talked about. Yeah, that's literally what just happened with Corbett. He picked up the foul and he came out, but Crawford stays. Cruz makes the free throw to tie the game. And there is Gerald Gillian. Excellent job he's done here at Chicago State. A school that, honestly, was worth checking out sometimes. Remember before he got here, they had the season that was canceled because of COVID. Yep. Now here he is trying to just get eyes on the program, and he's done a great job doing just that here in his first three seasons. Easiest way to do that is to pile up those W's, right? Yeah. And 11 last season, the most for a Chicago State team in some time. So, has them trending in the right direction for sure. Deflected away for Tennessee Martin, only for Crawford to deflect it back. A.J. Neal with the behind-the-back pass to Ked Green. Cruz finds Sears, clear path home with Crawford in pursuit. Off the rim again. That rim is taking a beating. Nobody can throw the dunk down. Yeah, and Sears threw it off the other side of the rim. We've had a couple of baseline dunk attempts thrown off the back of the rim and a whistle and a foul on Crawford. And I don't know. Yeah, he got him with, got him with the body there, that lower body, I think. And I don't know about that one, Aaron. Looking at it from that angle, Crawford did get him, but... By that point, Sears is turned towards the rim. At, yeah. the, at that point, what point do you say the defender has as much right to that spot as the offensive player? Well, when you're when you're when you're Jordan <laughs> Sears and you've got 18 points in the first half, you're going to get the benefit of the doubt on those types of plays. So, it's looking for 19 and 20 here in half number one. 21 a game. He's almost there at halftime. I have to agree. When you're the aggressive player, when you're putting numbers on the board, the officials will give you the benefit of the doubt. That's yeah. called respect officiating. As now here Sears at the stripe, looking to tie us up. Or excuse me, he's looking to extend that lead for Tennessee Martin. And he does that, 37-35. Yes, 20 now. Final minute of the first half. Cardet. That's a nice wrap. They kick green, right corner three. Off the rim. Kicked out, rebounded by Deshaun Jean Charles. Crawford. Thought better of it. Kicks it out. Cougars able to reset with 12 on the clock. Green's jumper off the rim. Rebounded here by Williams. And Ked's really confident with that shot, and you like to see it. I mean, top of the top of the key jumper just off the back of the rim, but not a bad look. Eight and a half second differential game in shot clock. We've got 25 seconds on the shot clock, 17 on 17 on shot clock, 25 in the game. Here's Sears with 20 on the game. Kicks it over to Cruz. Three on the way with 15 on the game. Seven Ooh. on the shot. He knocked it down. Yeah, that's a deep three from Cruz as well. Cardet in the front court. 40-35 our score. Seven seconds. Out of bounds with 5.1. Or actually five even here in the half. Still plenty of time for the Cougars to get a good look off. So, Ked Green to inbound the ball. No need to rush. Jeffries comes back in for Tennessee Martin for Williams. So, one for 11. As you see, Williams walking around on the bench there. Green into Crawford. Crawford with five. Back to Green with three. Green with two. Let's it fly off the rim. Fussell gets the board, and that ends the first half here at the JCC in Chicago. The Tennessee Martin Skyhawks with a 40-35 lead over the Chicago State Cougars. We'll take a break, and then we'll come back for second half action here on YouTube Live. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers. One love. <laughs> Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. 
At Chicago State University, you'll find five academic colleges, 56 degree programs in all. Our School of Pharmacy is number one in the Midwest for educating minority student scholars. We're ranked first in Illinois and second nationwide among public universities for educating and supporting African-American student scholars. We've achieved 100% job placement in nursing, pharmacy, and occupational therapy. We're number two in the nation for graduating black physics majors. For economic mobility, CSU is in the top 4% nationwide among all colleges and universities. And you get the attention you deserve because on average, there are only 10 students for every faculty member. We have some of the best professors, some of the best mentors. You have people that uplift you, that will open doors for you, that will help you. It's an opportunity where you're able to make a change. Chicago State University. Put your career in motion, your connection to friends and professors in motion, put your future in motion. Chicago State University. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce Touchdown! and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> At the Chicago State University College of Pharmacy, discoveries happen daily and students become industry leaders. If you are looking for a rewarding profession combining patient care, scientific research, and opportunities to give back to your community, CSU is an exceptional place to prepare with 3,000 square feet of state-of-the-art lab and research facilities and renowned faculty. No bachelor's degree is required. Learn more about CSU's College of Pharmacy by visiting csu.edu slash college of pharmacy. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Let's put your ambition in. Halftime at the Jones Convocation Center in Chicago. Chicago State Cougars taking on the Tennessee Martin Skyhawks. Here with my partner Aaron Shellen. I'm Chris Rouse. We mentioned Aaron. Cougars down by five, but it's been a very well contested game. Yeah, it's been a tight game, Chris. This five-point lead expanded here in the last about 45 seconds by UT Martin. But this, is, this game has been within about a possession or so for most of this first half. And really, it's been the Jordan Sears show. Came in averaging 21 a game for UT Martin. Had 20 in that first half was letting it letting it fly and hitting nothing but the bottom of the net throughout most of that first half. Now your key player for this game was Ked Green. I want to hear your assessment on Ked's first half performance. I think Ked's played an outstanding uh, first 20 minutes both offensively and defensively. He's been confident with his shooting, stepping into these shots, no hesitation whatsoever, and you know what you're going to get from Ked Green defensively. Quick hands, quick feet, and he's been, I would say, probably Cougars' best player all around here in the first 20. Now Aaron, I'd like for you to get your coaching hat on. If you're Coach Gerald Gillian, what do you what are you most putting on that bulletin board? What is the biggest point of emphasis for Chicago State in this second half? I would say number three with a bunch of arrows <laughs> pointing to him. Say, guard this man. You got to figure out a way to stop Jordan Sears. And if that's maybe a box and one, or you know, maybe maybe you should go man to man and say, Ked, number three is yours here for the final 20. Go make it happen. But you got to find a way to slow down Jordan Sears. They've done a nice job against the other weapons. Issa Muhammad held scoreless uh, three-pointer uh, right at the end of that first half from uh, Jacob Cruz. But otherwise, they've done a nice job defensively against UT Martin, but you got to figure out a way to stop number three. We're hoping that you're enjoying your long weekend. Hopefully, we're thankful that you're back with us here at the JCC in Chicago on YouTube Live. We'll be getting ready for second half action and more here at the JCC. Chicago State currently trailing Tennessee Martin by five. More coming up after this on YouTube Live. 
At the Chicago State University College of Pharmacy, discoveries happen daily and students become industry leaders. If you are looking for a rewarding profession combining patient care, scientific research, and opportunities to give back to your community, CSU is an exceptional place to prepare with 3,000 square feet of state-of-the-art lab and research facilities and renowned faculty. No bachelor's degree is required. Learn more about CSU's College of Pharmacy by visiting csu.edu slash college of pharmacy. It's game day in Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers. One love. <laughs> Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. At Chicago State University, you'll find five academic colleges. 56 degree programs in all. Our School of Pharmacy is number one in the Midwest for educating minority student scholars. We're ranked first in Illinois and second nationwide among public universities for educating and supporting African-American student scholars. We've achieved 100% job placement in nursing, pharmacy, and occupational therapy. We're number two in the nation for graduating black physics majors. For economic mobility, CSU is in the top 4% nationwide among all colleges and universities. And you get the attention you deserve because on average, there are only 10 students for every faculty member. We have some of the best professors, some of the best mentors. You have people that uplift you, that will open doors for you, that will help you. It's an opportunity where you're able to make a change. Chicago State University. Put your career in motion, your connection to friends and professors in motion. Put your future in motion. Chicago State University. Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition for it's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> the Chicago State University College of Pharmacy, discoveries happen daily and students become industry leaders. If you are looking for a rewarding profession combining patient care, scientific research, and opportunities to give back to your community, CSU is an exceptional place to prepare with 3,000 square feet of state-of-the-art lab and research facilities and renowned faculty. No bachelor's degree is required. Learn more about CSU's College of Pharmacy by visiting csu.edu slash college of pharmacy. 
At the Chicago State University College of Pharmacy, discoveries happen daily and students become industry leaders. If you are looking for a rewarding profession combining patient care, scientific research, and opportunities to give back to your community, CSU is an exceptional place to prepare with 3,000 square feet of state-of-the-art lab and research facilities and renowned faculty. No bachelor's degree is required. Learn more about CSU's College of Pharmacy by visiting csu.edu slash College of Pharmacy. Here on YouTube Live, you're watching Chicago State men's basketball. Halftime between the Chicago State Cougars and the Tennessee Martin Skyhawks. He's Aaron Shellen. I'm Chris Rouse. Aaron, Chicago State down 40-35 as we overview the first half some more. That five-point Chicago State deficit. Neither team is led by more than eight points in this one. It's been a really tight game. Again, Jordan Sears, 20 points in that first half. Wesley Cardet, uh, Ked Davis, each with 10 to lead things for the Cougars. We'll take a look at some of the first half highlights here while we talk about kind of what went on in that first half. And Chris, there were a couple things that stood out to me in that first half. Number one, the turnover battle. 11 turnovers for UT Martin, only four for Chicago State. Cougars have done a really nice job both taking care of the basketball and sort of wreaking havoc defensively against UT Martin. The other thing that really stood out to me, the only player who played more in that first half for Coach Gerald Gillian than Noble Crawford was Wesley Cardet. Noble Crawford in that first half played almost 16 minutes, had five points, three rebounds, three steals, and a block. So filling up that stat sheet, number 15, Joe Gillian left him out there for pretty much the entirety of half number one. As a result, we'll go over some of the first half stats. Tennessee Martin, 11 of 26 from the field at a clip of 42%, 7 of 15 from three at a clip of 46%, and 11 of 13 from the free throw line at a clip of 84%. For Chicago State, they went 13 to 35 for 37%, 4 of 15 from three for 26%, and five of eight at the line for 62%. Now, Aaron, you said Chicago State, they've got to defend George Sears. What can Tennessee Martin do to maintain? Well, I think they got to just do a better job taking care of the basketball. You know, you turn the ball over 11 times in the first half and you go to the half of the five-point lead. You have to feel fortunate that you're not on the wrong side of the scoreboard when you've turned it over more than almost three times as many times as your opponent, 11 turnovers in that first half. You just got to do a better job taking care of the basketball. I also look for uh, UT Martin to try to get Issa Muhammad a little bit more involved. The big man, 18 points, 18 rebounds in their win over North Alabama of that double overtime thriller earlier in the week held scoreless in the first half so I look for him to try to make an impression for the Skyhawks here in half number two. Isu Muhammad so far just turned into strictly a rebounder by Chicago State's bigs but also if you're a fan of Chicago State Athletics you can join us tomorrow on the YouTube Live Chicago State Athletics for women's basketball the Chicago State Cougars women's basketball team takes on the Evansville Purple Aces something's got to give 0-4 versus 0-9 tomorrow Aaron. Yeah Cougars fought hard today out at the tournament out in Cleveland, uh, Cleveland State University. They lost to Austin P, but it's a close battle. They were within three in that third quarter, just kind of ran out of steam there in, in, in half number two. But yeah, Chris and I will switch spots. I'll stand there, he'll stand here, and we'll bring you the women's game tomorrow at 1 p.m. And a you know, tough schedule for the, for, the, for the women here in the early going. Five games in the last eight days for this women's team. Just a grueling schedule for any college team. Yeah. And also, the men will be back in action on Thursday. They'll take on the Delaware State Hornets, but in just about a minute, we'll get it back down to the court for second half action between the Cougars and the Skyhawks. There you see the Cougars. They're getting ready as well here. Gerald Gillian's team breaking the huddle. And we mentioned the final score earlier, 60-49, uh, the final in the women's action as we get a look at Ja'Shawn Corbett and Jelani Hewitt. And there you see Coach Ritter and his Tennessee Martin Skyhawks. Got to be playing with, playing with some confidence going into this second half. Yeah, UT Martin's been doing it from the outside. They had those seven three-pointers to only four for Chicago State, while the Cougars have been doing it in the paint. 18 points in the paint to only eight for UT Martin. So look for Chicago. State to continue to work down low and working down low, that's going to include number 24, Deshaun Corbett. Cougars have to get Deshaun into the game here in half number two if they want an opportunity to, to come back from behind here in half number two. I'd love to know what's on Gerald Gillian's mind as he watches on here. He's giving somebody the side, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Starting five back in for both teams as Tennessee Martin goes to the opposite basket on the south side of the JCC. Now here on the south side of Chicago, action resumes. Cruz up top, guarded by Green. That's a short floater from Cruz, rebounded by Muhammad, and right on cue, Aaron. 
Yeah, Ken Green did a nice job guarding the much bigger Cruz, but Cruz got to the paint. Muhammad used every bit of that 6'9", 245 frame and was able to put it up over a couple of Cougars to extend this lead back out to seven, which has been the largest by either team here this afternoon. Corbett over to Cardet, who almost turned it over. Now Green has it deflected away. Gene Charles will let it go out of bounds and it'll stay with the Cougars on the opposite end of the floor. And these first couple of minutes is the clock got to stop the clock here, so I think we're going to have a whistle and they'll push the clock back about five or six seconds, but this is an important 90 to 120 seconds here for Chicago State. The last minute, minute and a half of that first half turned a tie game into a five-point lead for UT Martin. UT Martin comes out here in the second half, gets an easy bucket to kick things off. For Chicago State, you don't want to look up at the 17-minute mark and find yourself down 10 or 12, so a couple of important possessions here for Chicago State to keep that lead within four or five here as we as we move forward what's currently happening we're having an official review they're going to try to see how much time was on the clock when the ball went out of bounds without knowing my guess is going to be 1921 that's where the period went out as the clock continued to run you got a guess here i'm gonna go 1919 is where i think the clock is going to be reset all right let's see now with our luck it'll be 1920 right as now the teams head back to the bench head back to their respective sidelines here they're going to put the they're going to get the game clock right Actually, maybe they're not clear here. They're going to... All right, well, Tennessee Martin is coming back onto the floor here. Now here comes Chicago State. They've still got the game clock at 19-13. 19-23. Okay, short. we're both wrong. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just glad it wasn't right in between. Yeah. Us. yeah. <laughs> Only 10 on the shot clock, though, for the Cougars. they got to get into their offense quickly. Ked Green, nice turn of the corner by Ked. Nice feed to Corbett, but he's unable to hold on. Cruz gets the steal. Cruz, oh, beautiful, beautiful bounce beautiful. pass to Sears for the lead. That was pretty. Beautiful bounce pass. Over the head, two-hand spike into the ground by Cruz. And he found Sears, who has 22 now. About a 30-foot bounce pass for Cruz to get the assist. A quick 4-0 run to start the second half. It's a nine-point lead all of a sudden. Biggest lead of the game for either team. Cardet to Corbett. He'll let it fly. He's just trying to get on track and out of help. Yeah, huge shot for Jashan. He needed that one. Cuts this lead to six. Those were his first three points of the game. Orlando, Florida via the St. Thomas and the Virgin Islands for Jashan Corbett. Now here in quite the opposite weather-wise, Chicago. Yeah, you, you, you ain't kidding. <laughs> he had to feel right at home last week when they were in Cancun, and that's an offensive foul. Another offensive foul drawn by Chicago State. You have to love Ked Green. He's one of those guys that have put his body on the line. He took an elbow to the face earlier, took a hit there in the chest draws the offensive foul, and, and you see a lot of offensive, you know, a lot of a lot of players who, who can draw uh, draw those offensive fouls, but they do it via the flop, right? And, and and that wasn't a flop. I mean, that was a forearm in the chest. So Ked did a nice job taking the contact in the chest. Now he takes the contact to the shoulder from Sears as Ked. I think that foul is going to be on the floor, so the shot will be negated. Chicago State ball. It's the first on Sears. You see Green turning the corner. Yep. Ooh, hit right in the chin as he turned the corner. That's one thing about Ked's game. He is aggressive when he turns the corner. Sometimes it can be a little out of control, under control there. Davis for three, in for the Cougars. Yeah, Ked Green found Brent Davis standing all alone in the corner. The right play by Ked. And draws an offensive foul at one end, makes the right pass at the other end. It's a quick 6 nothing run, turning this into a three-point game all of a sudden. Ked Green directing traffic on both ends of the floor. He switched out with Brent Davis prior to the inbound. Has Chicago State's better 3 and D defender on the floor, on the ball here. Jeffries to Curry. Chicago State switching everything. Jeffries over Green. He knocked it down. A confident three from the corner from Kobe Jeffries. Hit 12 and four his last time out. Hasn't scored a ton this year for the Skyhawks, averaging just under four a game. But you can see there, he can knock down that jumper. That was his first made basket of the game. One for three. Here's Gene Charles. Here's Ted Green. Brent Davis now. Cougars just working around. Corbett, another three. In and out. K.K. Curry with the left-hand rebound. Curry driving on Cardet. Spins towards the baseline. Unable to finish. Oh. Tapped up and in by Issa Muhammad. Quick four for him. Yeah, 
Muhammad, I, Brent Davis got a piece of that, but Muhammad just too big. And he's got four quick points here in the second half, and it's an eight-point lead. In 11 minutes, he missed two shots. In three minutes, he's made two shots in the second half. Here's a rebound for Curry. And if Chicago State, you don't want to fall into this quick three, one and done. Their last two possessions, a couple of quick threes, led to baskets the other way for UT Martin. Cardet with the ball to the front court after Curry missed the layup. Three on the way from Wesley. Knock it down. And that's, it's great that that shot went in, but that's three straight possessions by Chicago State where they killed about 10 seconds of the shot clock before lofting up a three-pointer. This communication with the full court press with Green and Davis. Jeffries had a look. The recovery by Cardet forced the pass out. 16-26 to go in the half. Muhammad gets it down low and a holding foul. Actually, maybe be the forearm in the back on Kay Green, give it up size. And yeah, nice job by UT Martin to, 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 to create a pick and roll and, and create that mismatch with Ked Green trying to guard Easton Muhammad. And Ken's going to go to the bench here. So is Deshaun Gene Charles. Actually, no, he's going to stay in. It'll be Crawford. Chicago State's got six guys in there right now. We got Crawford. Okay, Crawford, Gene Charles, Spate just came in, Arnaud and Cardet. So almost a line change for the Cougars. Here's Sears guarded by Spate, who just came in for the first time. Sears to the rim. Oh, what a finish. Knifing his way through Cougars defenders for two in the foul. Yeah, and almost like he moved in midair from his left to his right there, Chris. Knifing through a couple of gray jerseys and getting to the rack. And here's another look at that replay, Aaron. You're right. He was moving in midair right there, moving that right side just to bank it off the glass with a little bit of a kiss for two. Yeah, avoided the contact from Gene Charles, drew the foul, and... He's well on his way to another 30-point game at a career-high 34 his last time out. He's looking for one number 25 right here. Some guys are just bucket getters. This guy is an absolute bucket getter. 34 points on Wednesday. Might match it here. He's got 16 minutes to do so as he now has 25 in the game, as Aaron said. 52-44, 16-15 and counting to go in the game. And another clock stoppage. Now, this time, the clock froze after they couldn't stop it earlier. <laughs> and from personal observations, I've been at the JCC all season. There have been points where that clock freezes, and they're going to have to check on it here to make sure it didn't totally freeze out. Well, here's the thing, though, Chris. If they had just done nothing, <laughs> the clock would be right now. If they, if, they hadn't, if they hadn't set the clock back 10 seconds, we'd be, we'd be good right now. <laughs> There have been times, I don't know what it is, when it gets to 40, insert whatever number 45 it freezes. Here's Gene Charles. Right hand bank off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Cruz. And now reaching, ooh, Gene Charles and Cruz banging into each other, and the foul against the Cougars. Yeah, and, and in that first half, we saw a lot of uh, we saw a lot of movement. We saw a lot of passing of the basketball, cutting, screening, leading to some open shots for Chicago State. Here so far in the second half, Chris, it's been almost hero ball. A lot of one-on-one, -on -one, and, and they've made a couple of three-pointers, but that type of offensive basketball is not going to get you back into this game. They have to do what they were doing in that first half that was leading to those quality opportunities. As you mentioned, Aaron, they're about three or four possessions where one and done for Chicago State to start the half. Cruz going at Cardet off the rim. Cardet deflects it away to Gene Charles and Ked Green's not going to get there because the official who's a part of the floor technically is in the way. And that ball goes out of bounds to Tennessee Martin. And when we return, the Skyhawks will take over in possession. Watch out, referee. Oh, yeah, watch out. Got hit in the face there. And it will come back to YouTube Live after this here in Chicago. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. One love. <laughs> Pon en marcha tu futuro en la Universidad Estatal de Chicago con más de 70 programas de grado y certificaciones, numerosas oportunidades de becas y una vida universitaria vibrante. La Universidad Estatal de Chicago es la universidad pública más asequible de la ciudad con un cuerpo docente diverso y grupos pequeños de alumnos. En la Universidad Estatal de Chicago te brindamos las herramientas que necesitas para triunfar. Visita csu.edu diagonal admissions para saber cómo puedes conseguir gratis la matrícula de tu primer año. 
Chicago State men's basketball here on YouTube Live. Cougars currently trailing the Tennessee Martin Skyhawks by eight. Chris Rouse, Aaron Schellen, Aaron Chicago State. Rough start to the second half. Yeah, I mean, I think you can look at one number here, Chris. 50% shooting for UT Martin in this game, only 35% for Chicago State. The three pointers are about even. UT Martin into the foul line a little bit more, but Skyhawks are making their shots. Cougars aren't. It's an eight-point UT Martin lead. And then you see Coach Ritter having a word with Issa Muhammad at the bottom of your screen there. Issa Muhammad was a player you pointed out at second half. He certainly showed up here here to start the second half. Yeah, four points and a couple of rebounds here in the second half. And you weren't going to keep him down long. He's averaging almost a double-double. 12 points, nine and a half rebounds, almost three assists, and over a steal a game. So does a little bit of everything, Issa Muhammad. And, yeah, they're trying to feature him here in half number two. And they Spins inside on Corbett and scores to extend the lead to double digits for the first time. First double digit lead for either side and Chicago State being outscored 14 to 9 here in the second half. Neal over to Corbett and now Cardet. Guarded by Curry. And a rip and a foul as Sears tried to rip the ball away and caught Cardet. Or actually, they're going to go with Curry for the foul. Get another look at it here. Cardet on the drive and here Curry's got his hand on the right arm of Wesley on the drive. A couple couple of fouls now on Curry. Corbett over to Cardet. Right wing three. In for Wesley Cardet Jr. Again, another made three-pointer. Keeping the Cougars close here in the second half. You got to start getting it done on the defensive end here in the second half like they were doing in the, in the first half. Sears over to Jeffries. And that's going to be a foul on Neal, closing out too fast on KK Curry. Yeah, tried to cut off baseline, did, did what you're supposed to do, you know, really attacked baseline there, but you, you're right, just got a little too aggressive on KK Curry and got him with the body. Curry actually will go to the bench as Sebastian Mendoza returns now for Tennessee Martin. And now Brent Davis in for AJ Neal. It's the issue matching up man to man here on the inbound. Green guarding Cruz, starting out with a mismatch here, giving up the height. Sears to Jeffries, walks into a three, knocked it down to Kobe Jeffries. And you saw the Cougars trying to get the ball out of the hands of Sears, and Sears did a nice job finding Jeffries, and Jeffries hit the shot. Second made, three for Jeffries. Green trying to get it back, unable to do so. Corbett able to get the long rebound. 18 on the shot clock, 14.30 in the half. Cardet over to Corbett. Step back three over Muhammad. A little short off the hand, rebounded by Cruz. It's not really just Sean's game. I mean, he's that 18-foot that, that in guy. That's when he's most effective. Here in this one, he's just throwing it up from behind the arc, and he made one earlier, but again, that's, that's not his game. Jeffries guarded by Crawford up top. Here's Cruz. He hasn't had a really good look since the first half where he got fouled. He drives on Crawford. That's a great look. Two feet is pretty good. Yeah, so these big guys, Cruz and Muhammad, starting to come to life here a little bit. As Cruz hit that three-pointer right at the end of the first half, second half is Ben Muhammad, and this all of a sudden you look up and it's a 12-point Skyhawk lead. Brent Davis over to Cardet. Green drives inside. It had to be a foul on Sears as he ripped it away from Kid Green. Nice drive by Ked getting into the paint. And when the outside shots aren't falling, that's what you should do. And it's not a surprise to me that Ked Green is that one who's saying, all right, you know what, our outside shots aren't falling. Let me try to get to the basket and either get a couple of free throws or draw a foul. Sean Jean Charles coming in, as you see there. He is going to replace Noble Crawford. Good three and D players, Deshaun Jean Charles. His energy has been infectious this season. And he's had a good game today. 5.7 rebounds, a couple of assists. So Gene Charles playing pretty well. Leads the team with those seven rebounds so far today. Desmond Williams and Christian Fussell, 11 and 15 respectively back in. Jeffries and Muhammad out. Chicago State a chance to try to work inside here with Muhammad on the bench. It's Cardet. To Corbett. And he's thinking about the three now. He had a good look at it there. Ked Green. Crossover, nice feed to Davis, who lays it off the glass for two. Right decision by Ked, and again, you get into the paint, draw people towards you, and just drops it off to Brent for the layup. Now 2-2-1 two, two, full court press. Chicago State have been showing 1-1-2-1 one, one, one quite a few times. I alley you to Fussell, the bank is good. He I, wanted he wanted to end one, didn't get it. And that's how you beat the press. You don't put the ball on the ground. You keep the ball moving, and it leads to an easy bucket. 
12 point advantage. Gene Charles working around to Davis. Cougars need a basket here. Here's Ked Green backing down. Nice move and a foul. Actually, they're going to say clear it out with the yeah. hook and then to turn it over to Tennessee Martin. They used that left hand as he was going baseline to hook the defender. Called for the offensive foul and a 12 point lead still here as we are under 13. Ked will get a breather here as A.J. Neal comes into the game for Chicago State. Cam Jernigan will join him for Corbett, who's just, it's just been a rough day for Jashan Corbett. Yeah. Not able to hit a lot of the shots he normally would cash in for the Cougars. Yeah, and even worse for Chicago State, that's the fourth foul on Ked, so he's probably going to sit on that bench till about the seven-minute mark, six, seven-minute mark. Yeah, Brent Davis could buy him some time as he gets a steal here. Cougars into the front court. Neal to the basket. Right hand layup off the glass is good for two. Brent Davis again. That one two defensive punch of Brent Davis and Ked Green. So, so good for Chicago State. This press comes up. Now they lead Jernigan all alone. Cruz a shoot to three. Got it to go. He's been waiting for a wide open look. Yeah, he's starting to feel it. Hit that three at the end of the first half. Another one here. And now the largest lead of the game at 13. Jacob Cruz with that three in the ball game. He now has 14. Here's Cardet. Baseline jumper good for Wesley Cardet Jr. And not much defense from UT Martin on that possession. Cardet just stepped into a 12 foot jumper. No resistance at all. First bucket of the second half for Wesley. He's got 16. Here's a drive for Mendoza. Mendoza kicks it over to Cruz. Another three. In again. He cast it in. A clean release from Cruz. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me to see a heat check here for number 35 at some point. That's three three pointers for him here in the last about 10 minutes of, of gameplay. And those two big men really doing a number here on Chicago State in the second half Cruz and Muhammad. AJ Neal. Get it around the perimeter to Brent Davis. Chicago State with a couple of players bunched up on the low block. Neal for three. Off the rim. Should go out to Davis. It does. And a reset. It's Nobody like, moving. The, yeah. All five players just standing around. I was about to say Tennessee Martin in a 1 2 2 zone, but not really. Everyone just stagnant. Neal for three. Run down by Sears. And an easy board, easy possession defensively for Tennessee Martin. Yeah, this is what we've seen for most of the second half, Chris. Not a lot of movement offensively for Chicago State after a lot of moving pieces in that first half. Sears to the rim, bank off the glass, long. Cruz with the cleanup, and he has certainly cleaned it up for the Skyhawks here in the second half. He's got 19 points here, Chris. He's really blown up here in the second half, and this game is blown up in the face of Chicago State. They're down 16. Jacob Cruz sparking the Skyhawks. The Cougars need a break. We'll take one with them. 10:39 to go in the game. We'll be back on YouTube Live after this. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. It's game day in Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Chicago State Cougars taking on the Tennessee Martin Skyhawks. Cougars currently trailing by currently trailing by 16 points here with my partner Aaron Shell and I'm Chris Rouse. Aaron, Tennessee Martin, they've been clicking led by Jacob Cruz these last five minutes. Yeah, they're 12 of 17 shooting here in the second half, Chris. That's 71% from the field. They're up to almost uh, up to almost 55% on the game and almost 60% from behind the arc. When you're shooting that well, it's hard to keep up, and the Cougars have not been doing themselves any favor here is that first half 11 to 2 turnovers in favor of Chicago State second half Chicago State five turnovers already only two for UT Martin so shots aren't falling turning the ball over 
all of a sudden you look up and what was a five-point halftime lead is now 16. Also, Tennessee Martin with Jordan Sears, number three. He has 25 points. And Jacob Cruz, 19 points, 10 of the 19 here in the second half as Tennessee Martin has opened up a 16-point lead with 10.39 to go in the game. Wesley Cardett picks it up. Clock resumes, as does the game here in the second half. Need to see some movement offensively for Chicago State. A lot of stagnated offense here so far in half number two. One and Dunn's from the wing. They finally pull the big man on the zone. They miss Crawford, who was back door. Gene Charles, corner three, off the rim. Corbett had it taken away by Sears. He's been all over the place. That was better offensively, though, by Chicago State. You saw some movement. I like, I like seeing Deshaun Corbin in that high post against that against that zone. Chicago State. We had a play there from Crawford. He tried to save the loose ball, and instead he threw it behind his back and threw it out of bounds, and it will stay with Tennessee Martin when action resumes here. Chicago State down by down by 16 with 10-12 to go in the game, and Aaron, Chicago State running out of time here, but if you're Gerald Gillian, what are you drawing on that board over there? Well, I think more of what we saw in that last possession, against that 2-3 zone, passing it around the outside and, and settling for, for wing jumpers isn't going to get it done. you got to try to break into that zone, and you saw that there with Corbett at the free throw line. He got the ball at the free throw line, that allowed, that forced the, the Tennessee Martin defense to collapse on him. And you talked about wide open three pointers in that point. That's when it's okay to shoot those threes when there's no one around you, but you got to get the ball into those positions first. So I think you start to see more of that. Maybe move Deshaun down inside against that zone and, and try to drive and kick. To your point, one of the things we just saw about two plays ago, Chicago State able to finally pull the big man. Usually when you're playing against the zone, you feed it to the free throw line, brings the big man up to create a basket, but they got it to Corbett, couldn't really do anything with it. So for Chicago State, is it a timing issue or is it Tennessee Martin's defense? They're just executing so well here. Well, I mean, I, I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, when it, it's, it's easy to look really, really good defensively when the offense isn't moving. So we've seen a couple of possessions where Chicago State offensively has just been standing there, you know, kind of pounding the ball into into the into the into the floor at the top of the key, and no one's doing. And we've got the perfect angle from where we're sitting. We can see the offense sitting at the end of the court, and you just saw five gray jerseys just standing there. It's easy to look good defensively when no when when the offense is helping you that way. So, if you're Chicago State, you need to be you need to be trying to find those gaps in the zone. And you're right, you need to bring that big man up, and that's where I was talking about getting Deshaun Corbett into the paint and try to draw those bigs towards him, lead to somebody maybe cutting back door on the baseline or when those defenders collapse you kick it into one of the corners for an open shot we're happy that you're joining us here on this saturday in chicago thank you to all the people that have joined us here at the jcc as well some of the sight sounds and faces here from the jones convocation center in chicago another season of chicago state athletics on the hardwood justice jackson back in for the skyhawks as is Christian Fussell. Fussell with a feed down to Curry, who almost stepped out. Instead, is fouled, and it'll go to the line. I don't know if it's going to be on Charles or Corbett. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be on Gene Charles. Chicago State tried to double Curry as he cut baseline, but well too late as he was able to receive a pretty much a panic pass from Fussell, and he'll go to the line. K.K. Curry, there you see Gerald Gillian and Baron Tenteri looking on here. Ed Green set to check back in here. Chicago State, they're going to need that leadership out of number five in gray. Well, first thing they're going to need to do is get some stops defensively. You can't allow 70% shooting in a half and expect to be able to get back into a game. So if they are going to get back into this one, and, and you know, you're down 17 here with 10 minutes left, you break this down into two or three minute chunks, right? I mean, it's a 17 point, 18 point game now. You want to try to get it down to about 10 by the about the, by the, about the seven minute mark and you know, try to just chop a little bit off this every couple minutes, but it's going to start defensively. Chicago State's shooting almost 50% from the floor here in the second half, but because they're not taking care of the basketball and they're not playing very good defense, this lead is ballooned. Tennessee Martin, 14 of 16 from the charity stripe free throw line. For those unfamiliar, here's Crawford for Cardet. Boss ripped away in a foul. Nice play, though, by Crawford. The up fake on that left wing. Took it right to the rack. The defense collapsed on him. Nice little drop pass to Wesley Cardet, and Wesley will get to the line looking for points 19 and 20 on the afternoon. The amazing Wesley Cardet, of course, the dynamic player, ability to shoot, the ability to drive. He's strong enough to post up. 
And again, missing the free throw usually, well, that's unusual for Wesley Carter. Yeah, only three for six from the free throw line here today. Chicago State only nine foul shots in the game, whereas UT Martin 14 of 16. So Skyhawks getting, to the, getting into the paint, getting to the free throw line. Cardet looking to at least cut it in, cut into the lead here, at least get something out of this trip for a team who desperately needs to see the ball go through the basket, but that prayer not answered. And misses them both. He's three for seven. The team is only five of ten from the free throw line. Curry to Justice Jackson. Isu Muhammad is back in there. You see him in the post guarded by Cardet. There's a drive by Jackson. As a result, goes the other way and scores on Crawford. Yeah, he got right around him. And they talk about having to start defensively. And a blow by isn't how you're, you're going to get back into this one on the defensive side. 20 point advantage. Green floats it up off the glass. And the kiss is good for Kidd as Chicago State tries to rally back. But again, as soon as Ked Green comes back into the game, Chicago State takes the ball to the paint, gets a bucket. 9 4 and counting to go here. Tennessee Martin by 18, 73-55. Curry looking for Myers. Instead, he finds the bench, which will make it Chicago State ball. I think he caught the official in the in the side of the noggin there with that pass. But as you said, the official counts as part of the court. Officials, we've had one hit in the face with a hand, one hit in the face with a ball. Be careful. Green backing down on Jackson. That's an underrated part of Kent's game, and he uses it. And he knew exactly what he wanted to do there. He now has 14 points in this one, four straight for Ked. Jackson to Muhammad. Got Corbett in the air. Crawford able to contest and force the miss. Brent Davis gets the rebound, pushes ahead to Ked Green. He's got Mendoza to beat. Reverse lip off the glass, no good. It hit Mendoza on the way out, so the Cougars will keep it. Talk about starts on the defensive end. That's a couple of good defensive positions here by Chicago State. A couple of baskets by Ked Green. They have an opportunity here for a 6-0 run. Get this lead down to 14, 13 maybe, and kind of see where you can go from here. Cardet for three. On the way. Got it to go. Game down to 13 here. Yeah, I talk about, you know, doing this in bits and pieces. So this was a 19-point game at the 10-minute mark. It's now a 13-point game at the 8-minute mark. So for Chicago State, this is what you got to do. Just chip away. Got to play segments here. Honestly, if you're Chicago State, I would recommend playing 10 to 5 minutes here. You want to get it down to 10 with 5 to go. And here's Crawford. Crawford had it knocked away. Myers with a steal. He'll go up on Cardet and lays it in easily. Yeah, Crawford has to have better court awareness there. Had, uh, had Jalen Myers on his back. Didn't know he was there. Green on Mendoza and a foul on Sebastian as he caught him across the arm. 15-point game, just under eight minutes left. And if you're Chicago State, getting points with no time running off the clock is exactly what you're going to want. We're going to get a couple of Ked, Ked Green free throws here when the teams come back. So Ked Green, here's another look at the play by Myers as he came over to loose ball. And Tennessee Martin with a 15-point advantage. Can Chicago State come back? We'll find out when we come back here on YouTube Live. It's game day, Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free. You're at the Jones Convocation Center in Chicago. I'm Chris Rouse. He's Aaron Shellen. Aaron, Chicago State 8-0 here at the JCC last season. In danger of falling to 0-3 to start it out this season. Yeah, they got some work to do here over the final 7:45. Chris is going to start with these two free throws from Kedrick Green who has 14 points, 4 assists, looking for 15 and 16 here. And then again, it's got to it's gotta then convert over to the defensive side of things. A couple of decent possessions uh, defensively by Chicago State and a over, overwritten, if you will, by a, by a, a bad 
turnover in the backcourt that led to an easy bucket for UT Martin. So, again, we, we've talked about this a couple of times. Just under eight minutes, you need to be breaking this down into chunks here and just trying to break into this lead. But you do that by making your free throws and playing good defense. Ted Green, a step to the stripe. Remember, tomorrow, 1 p.m. Central Time, Chicago State women's basketball versus Evan, the Evansville Purple Aces. And then Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Time, Chicago State Cougars against the Delaware State Hornets in men's basketball. That's our upcoming activities here on Chicago State Athletics on YouTube Live. Gerald Gillian, third-year coach of Chicago State Cougars, looking to rattle, rally back here with 7.45 remaining. And that's now three straight missed free throws by Chicago State. Green's free throw. Got it to go. 75-61 our score. Tristan Arnault will get Green out. Likely an offense-defense switch. Kid with four fouls. And I think it's notable that Sean Corbett is, is 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 on the bench right here, Chris. He, he's had a rough he's had a rough afternoon. Usually incredibly reliable, averaging almost eight rebounds and 14 and a half points a game, but just not having it today. KK Curry aggressively driving to the basket. Fouled by Wesley Cardet Jr. And you see Curry, that's just an aggressive breakneck speed drive. Kind of reminds me of uh, Gerald Wallace. He used to call him Crash. Yep. Just Crash style to the basket. There's Noble Crawford. It was Cardet who picked up the foul. Crawford's had a few aggressive plays on the block today. But KK Curry was stepped to the strike and missed the first. Curry's has, Curry has six points here this afternoon, all six from the free throw line. Now six for seven from the charity stripe, 0 of four shooting. But on the game, 53% for UT Martin, 67% here in the second half. Curry with six points, four rebounds, seven points, four rebounds at 15 minutes play. 15 point advantage for Tennessee Martin as they play defense with 7.32 to go. Wesley Cardet, that's a quick drive from Wesley. Goes over Crawford. And now Brent Davis, a little unsure of what he wanted to do there before giving it up to Ked Green. Here's Corbett back out there. Green was looking for Crawford back door. Ball almost went through the basket from underneath, stolen away. That's a tough pass. Jackson, hesitation dribble, freedom up. Floater is up, but he couldn't finish. Jackson gets his own rebound. Great job by Justice Jackson staying with it. Yeah, and to right around Corbett for the easy two. So 17-point game. Cardet, a three. That might be a save me three. Unable to get it. Rebounded by Mendoza for a moment. And here come the Skyhawks. Bit of a heat check three from Cardet. Trying to be the hero there, but unable to get it to fall. Wouldn't be surprised if you see Tennessee Martin just take the air out of the ball here and just hold it for 10 seconds of each rip the rest yeah, of the that's way. that's just seeing from Jeffries, just backing the ball out. Here's K.K. Curry. Sebastian Mendoza. Download to Muhammad, who got inside position on Crawford and scored. And yeah, Muhammad's looked really nice in the second half. Now eight points, five rebounds. All eight points here in the second half. The New Mexico State transfer from Georgia with the lay in there. So here's Cardet. Corbett for three. There's Deshaun Corbett's three ball. He knocks it down with 6.04 to go. There are 16 minutes remaining in the ball game. Chicago State still with time, but they've got a lot playing against them. We'll be right back with more from the JCC after this. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn, Chicago State University. It's game day in Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Canes chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> 
Four and two Tennessee Martin Skyhawks looking like they're going to get their fifth win of the season. But with six minutes to go, the Chicago State Cougars trying to rally back. Chris Ross with Aaron Shellen as action resumes here with Jacob Cruz in the front court for Tennessee Martin and a foul on Brent Davis. Right with the reach. And if you're Chicago State, you got about what, about two minutes here to get this thing down to about ten. Realistically, if, if you want to, if you want to have a shot, you need to have this thing down to about ten points with about three, three and a half minutes left to have any sort of realistic shot. But it's hard when, when you're allowing the opposition to shoot 67% from the field, 80% from behind the arc in the second half. It's hard to get back into the game. Jacob Cruz's free throw is good. Oh, Nick Cruz has had a solid looking shot. Beautiful release as you see Coach Ritter. Ryan Ritter here in his third season with Tennessee Martin. Looking for what will be his 32nd win here with the Skyhawks if they hold on in his final 52. Yeah, Cruz, 21 points, including 12 here in the second half to go along with six rebounds. He and Sears have, have contributed 46 of the 82 UT Martin points. 540 exactly to go. Corbett to the basket, finding Cardet. Left corner three on the way for Wesley. In and out, rebounded by Cruz. And Tennessee Martin, 18-point lead with the ball. Sears going to walk it up the court with the pressure coming. He's got three to get it over. He's picked his dribble up. The ball doesn't come across the timeline. They say Cardet hit it in the backcourt, which sent it into the front court for Mendoza, who scores. And a 20-point game, and that just about does it here, Chris, with about five minutes left. The best trap Chicago State had had all game without a turnover, and Tennessee Martin scored as a result. Cardet for three, got it to go. One at the foul, doesn't get it. UT Martin, 44 points here in the second half with five minutes left. Mendoza across the timeline to Cruz. Cruz with a runway. The lob to Muhammad, who didn't go up for the Ooh. jump, for the dunk, and a foul on Davis as he tried to steal it. Yeah, Brent just standing there. I think he thought he got all ball, but got him on the wrist a little bit. So back to the free throw line is the two bigs. Tried a little two-man action down low, and Muhammad gets himself to the free throw line with a chance to go into double digits. He's a Muhammad. What a game he's had. You remember, he missed. He took two shots in the first half. He played 11 minutes in the first half, took two shots. He missed them both. First three minutes he played of the second half, he hit his first two shots, and that really turned the game around for Easton Muhammad. Eight points and five boards. And he really gave UT Martin a lift at the start of the second half. The first half, it was all about number three, Jordan Sears. He had 21 points in that first half. Only four here in the second because they haven't needed him. The, the bigs, Cruz and, and Muhammad, have really carried the Skyhawks here in half number two. And Muhammad likely going to come out as Fussell came right to the table once he put that ball in the air. And here is Christian Fussell back in. Yeah, I think Muhammad got hit in the eye there. I think Brent Davis got him with the eye when he, when he or got him in the eye when he was trying to uh, swipe that ball away. To your point, when they were in the huddle, he was blinking uh, pretty regularly trying to clear his eye out there. Because now here is Tristan Arnaud. Arnaud over to Davis. Pass knocked away by Cruz. Cruz looking for Mendoza, stolen by Chicago State. Chicago State has done a good job in the backcourt with the defense. Here's Corbett for three. That's off the rim. That's been the problem, the front court. Quality looks, drawing nothing but iron. Corbett again. They let him shoot it. Missed it again, rebounded by Tennessee Martin. 11 of 33 from behind the arc here for Chicago State. 11 of 20 for UT Martin. And now Sears gets hit in the eye again by this time by Brent Davis as well. So Davis got to be careful going with the, for the ball with a couple of swipes hitting opponents in the eye. It's 10 fouls here in the half for Chicago State. So a couple of free throws for UT Martin. That'll be double bonus the rest of the way. Sears still squinting, trying to clear his eye here as he was hit in the eye by Brent Davis. He's still blinking right in front of us here. We're, we're on the side of the floor. We can see Sears' face. He's still blinking. As now he's cleared it and shoots the ball and knocks it down. Now shooters only need one eye to shoot. <laughs> he's got 26 now. What a game he had. It looked like he was going to break the 34, the career-high 34 that he had on Wednesday, but he's been tamed, so to speak, in the second half. But also, Isu Muhammad and Jacob Cruz playing better. He doesn't need as many shots. Yeah, UT Martin really changed their offensive strategy in that second half. First half was all about getting Jordan Sears open and clean looks, and he was knocking him down. Second half, it's been all about, all about the big men, all about Cruz and Muhammad, and that's worked for him. 20-point advantage for Tennessee Martin. UTM looking to go to 5-2. This is a 
team that has plenty to be optimistic about. They finished third place in the OVC, lost in the conference tournament to second place Tennessee Tech. And here they are with pretty much the same roster, actually maybe a better roster now that they have Isu Muhammad. And they're a little bit older, a chance to make a run in the OVC. Tristan Arnaud. Kneel down to Cardet. Elbow jumper for Cardet is good. But see, that's what they should have been doing all half. That's that's really how you attack this 2-3 zone. You had Wesley Cardet in the paint. You had the opportunity to take an 8-foot jumper or kick it into the corner for a wide-open three, but they just haven't been able to do that. Williams cross-court to Cruz. Cruz down the baseline. Banks it off the glass and a foul on Corbett. And yeah, that's the exclamation point for Jacob Cruz. He now has 14 points here in the second half. It's a 20-point lead. And it looks like the Cougars are, like you said, Chris, after going 8-0 at home last year, about to drop to 0-3 here at the JCC this season. 3.30 to go here in the ballgame. Chicago State down by 20 here. Chicago State, just a tough... Just a tough game for the Cougars, and we'll take one final break, and we'll return here to the JCC to wrap this one up after this. Pon en marcha tu futuro en la Universidad Estatal de Chicago con más de 70 programas de grado y certificaciones, numerosas oportunidades de becas y una vida universitaria vibrante. La Universidad Estatal de Chicago es la universidad pública más asequible de la ciudad con un cuerpo docente diverso y grupos pequeños de alumnos. En la Universidad Estatal de Chicago te brindamos las herramientas que necesitas para triunfar. Visita csu.edu diagonal admissions para saber cómo puedes conseguir gratis la matrícula de tu primer año. It's game day in Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> Chicago State men's basketball here on YouTube Live. Cougars currently trailing by 20, 89-69 at the hands of the Tennessee Martin Skyhawks. Here with Aaron Schell and I'm Chris Rouse. And Aaron, Coach Ryan Ritter in his third season, what's your assessment of this Tennessee Martin squad? Well, the second half has been really impressive from the Skyhawks. I talked about at halftime the Cougars getting it done in the paint. They were outscoring Tennessee Martin in that first half in the paint, 18-8. to Now with three and a half minutes left to go in the game, that paint scoring is now 36-20. 28 in favor of Tennessee Martin. They are outscoring Chicago State in the paint here in the second half. 28 to 10. They've been living in the paint and it's been killing the Cougars. Greg Spade in the ball game with it for Chicago State number zero at the top of your screen. It's Crawford, Cardet, Corbett who has it here with Arnaud and Spade. Corbett finding Cardet back door. Here's Spade. Open three. Off the rim for Spate, rebounded by Mendoza. Mendoza, Williams, Sears, Fussell, and Cruz, the five for Tennessee Mart with Sears, Martin with Sears pushing in the front court. Sears, Mendoza for three. Missed everything. Cruz comes up with it, lays it up strong underneath. And who else would it be at this point? 16 points in the second half for Cruz, now eight rebounds. The Cougars next in action on the 28th. Inter-Chicago rivalry as they'll take on Loyola Chicago, so an opportunity to get right on Tuesday. Yeah, I, love the, I love those cross-city matchups. I know the women will take on UIC later this season as well, so love when the inner-city schools decide to meet up, meet up against one another. There's a three from Williams off the rim and out of bounds. It'll belong to Chicago State. If you're Gerald Gillian, it's been a tough second half. What do you tell your team here? Well, I, I mean, I, I, it's 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 hard to win a basketball game when you let your opponent shoot almost 70 percent and a half you know defensively that first half especially the first half of the first half really active hands from chicago state they were moving their feet they were getting in good position they just had absolutely no answer for jacob cruz and isa muhammad here in the second half so got to do a better job defensively on down low on the bigs and, and offensively you just got to move the ball more you know we, we we talked about it a number of times here in the second half 
just stagnant offense, the one and done, the the the, the quick three-pointer from the top of the key or from the wing, and you can't get back into a game that way. Tristan Arno for three, no good. Here is Alex Ryford with the rebound, his first appearance as a Chicago State Cougar, and just like that, he's got a stat. It's an offensive board. He's got an offensive board, and he gets – Good hand from his teammates as they help him up. Rayford, the only Chicago native area on this team from <laughs> Chicago, the 6'3", 170-pound junior. So Chicago State got exactly one Chicagoan on their team. Yeah, right. This young man right here. Yeah, Rayford, the, tra the uh, transfer from Northern Oklahoma, and he makes the first free throw. One Chicago kid on the team that represents the south side of Chicago, locally out south is what we call it. See, the out south or out west. As now here's Reifert, who makes the free throw. Cruz gets it into Williams. Defended by Brent Davis. Final two minutes to go here as Tennessee Martin walking towards their fifth win. Jackson to Cruz guarded by Spate. Jackson guarded by Davis alone to Tennessee Martin bench. Shot clock at 10. Game clock at 140, blocked out of there by Jernigan, and now Arnaud pushes ahead of the pack. Ball will go out of bounds. It'll stay with the Cougars. Everyone trying to get their own little highlight in the final two minutes of a, of a game that's already been decided. So we'll see some threes. We'll try to see some some one-on-one -on -one type action here down the stretch for the final, final 90. Here's Jernigan up top. A few subs here for Tennessee Martin as Arnaud tries to shoot over one of them, Braylon Jackson. A miss and a whistle down low, and they shoot over one reserve. The foul is called on the other. David Kamwanga, the 6'7 junior out of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Or actually, he was he was fouled. <laughs> yeah, 6'7, 220-pound junior Kinshasa out of the Congo. And Kamwanga will come to the free throw line here as he was the victim of the over-the-back foul. I first, the way he reacted, I thought he got hit with the foul. But Kamwanga will enter the game with his head coach looking on. But he leaves it short. I'm sure you don't want the coach to see that. No, but this will be a nice, what, about a seven, eight-hour bus ride back to Tennessee for, for these UT Martin uh, Skyhawks here. They come up to Chicago. They're, they're traveling a lot. They're in the middle of about a 2,500-mile road trip that sees them go from uh, uh, Texas. They took on the Rice Owls up here to Chicago. Their next game is down in McNeese State on the 20, uh, on the 30th. Excuse, or excuse me, they started in McNeese State, which is in uh, Louisiana, St. Charles, Louisiana. Their next game is, uh, is, is down in Rice. So Louisiana up to Chicago. Chicago down to Texas, back to Tennessee. That's a uh, it's a pretty substantial road trip. Hope they're not taking the scenic route. As now it's ninety two seventy one. We actually maybe should take it. It's going to be quite the quite the trip. Yeah, that's, that scenic route. <laughs> that's that's it's about twenty five hundred miles round trip. Now Cam Jernigan will take the will take the free throws here for Chicago State. Jernigan's giving the Cougars another big body they could use this season, but he misses that free throw. Much has been made about what Chicago State doesn't have on the floor this season. Another player they don't have is Tashandre Cole. He's been over on the bench. You can see him actually in the black sweatshirt or at the back of the bench over there, sitting next to Ja'Shawn Corbett, right where Spade is standing, number zero right now. Meanwhile, Arnaud gets the steal, lays it up with the right hand in and out. Rebounded again by Braylon Jackson. Here's Kamwanga. Kamwanga to Jackson. Good job by Spate. Breaking up the alley -oop. Yeah, you saw the UT Martin bench stand up, and but Kamwanga telegraphed that alley -oop. And usually you don't want your, your big man running the uh, running the fast break like that. You want them finishing on the fast break. Oh, Jackson with a double clutch. Tried to brick bury it off the glass, unable to get it. I told you, everyone trying to trying to get on uh, Sports Center top ten <laughs> highlights here in the final couple of minutes. Freshman from East Dublin, Georgia. Unsuccessful in that attempt, rebounded by Jackson. This is Jackson. They find Kamwanga, who they told to dunk it. He just lays it in. Yeah, you see his teammates <laughs> put hands on the head. Hey, come on, big man, throw that down. <laughs> the entire bench yelling, dunk it. He just drops it in. Spade into the front court, two second differential game and shot clock with 21 seconds to go. Arno for three, likely the last shot of the game. If the Skyhawks rebound, and they do, and that'll do it here from Chicago, where the Tennessee Martin Skyhawks will move to five and two. The Chicago State Cougars will fall to two and six. Final thoughts, Aaron Schellen. 
Reds. This is a pretty good UT Martin team. 94 points. They came in averaging almost 90 a game. So what we're seeing here offensively should not be a surprise. They've got multiple ways they can beat you with Sears and Cruz. And if you're Chicago State, back to the drawing board. You got Loyola Chicago in a couple of days. Chicago State Cougars also will be back in action at home Thursday against the Delaware State Hornets. And also tomorrow here on Chicago State Athletics, we will have the women's basketball team as they take on the Evansville Purple Aces. But it was the University of Tennessee Martin Skyhawks. They get a 94-71 win here from the JCC over the Chicago State Cougars. Jordan Sears had 27 points. Jacob Cruz had 25. The Chicago, the Chicago State Cougars falling to George Sears, who had 27 points. Jeff Cruz had 25. It was just a tough day for the Cougars, and that'll wrap it up for us here in Chicago for all of our crew. For my partner, Aaron Shelley, Darius Lawrence, Jerry Robeson, Mark and Shaq Hawkins, Stacey Adams, Darius Jefferson, Jesus Mauricio, and Steve Grind, our producer. I'm Chris Rouse. This has been another presentation of Chicago State men's basketball on YouTube Live from Chicago. You all have a great weekend and take care. This has been Chicago State Men's Basketball.